Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome to the new series that's debuting on the channel. Tease this one a little bit at the end of Pikmin 2. It's a little bit of music. This is Eastward. It was a game developed by Pixpel, a studio from China, back in 2021. This game is weird. In a good way. So I hope that you'll enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but I will tell you in advance that this game is a little bit rough around the edges at times. It is fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, has a little bit of chorus adult language. So if that upsets you, I apologize in advance. I'd consider blurring it out, but the language in this game, when it's presented through text boxes, moves really fast. So it's not really worth it. But anyway, let's begin. If any of you have played the uh, Mother series, Earthbound, Mother 3, this is kind of like a, I don't want to say spiritual successor, has no connection to those games at all in terms of narrative, but the game in the way that it's presented kind of has a similar vibe to it. It's like that, but worse. <laughs> oh man, Ganondorf? Oh my gosh. The Zelda crossover. One of the things that this game does in its attempt to tell a story is it's very exposition heavy, which can get kind of tiresome at times, but it balances itself out pretty well. You'll see. So I hope that all made a bunch of sense. Just kidding, it probably doesn't. So we are presented with some children. Looks like they're playing an arcade game by some railroad tracks. It appears though the information you were just being fed was the storyline of a video game. Within a game, very meta. I wonder if his name is Michael. That's a joke for adults. But yeah, this game, it, it just tries to be very kind of edgy and cute and kind of goofy. You'll see. This is going to be one of our main characters. Her name is Sam. Get off to school, you ingrates. Playing hooky. Kids these days with their video games. And we are alluded to our second character, John. Very creative names in this game. There he is, in the flesh. Beautiful beard with his Marty McFly puffy jacket. So this is our uh, our homestead for now. Now is not the time to cook, Jesse. Of course, I'm sleepy. I've been playing this game for five minutes and I'm already tired. You could use a nap. Honestly, Sometimes the first thing I think about when I wake up is taking a nap. Things don't look quite so well kept, do they? 
But here we are, the prologue, the world above. Here we go, our two main characters syncing up for once. One of the things that I do appreciate about this game, I feel like all the parts of the whole didn't quite really get there. Like, the game is beautiful looking, it has wonderful music, but the writing is kind of bad and the pacing isn't wonderful. So you'll see over time that this game has very charming, endearing moments, but it doesn't quite hit on all the marks, but we'll still have a good time with it. Uh-oh, we gotta get back to work and to school. Okay. And one of the things that is, I think they're trying to take a page out of the Mother 3 book where your saving mechanism was a frog. In this game, they have a weird metaphor for memories. A little refrigerator of Theseus here. We're gonna save our memories in the fridge. Hopefully that keeps them nice and cool. Stay cool, viewers. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in this game. Um, once again, just a heads up, heads up, I don't intend to 100% this game, so don't expect that out of me. I'm just gonna have fun with it and do a pretty casual let's play. Probably do a good amount of side quests to round the game out, but in general, I'm just gonna have fun. Sure must. All right. You can show the map if you hit minus. These are the areas that we are currently able to explore, the areas that are kind of that purple Diagonal lines, unexplored territory, but it appears that our quest marker is to the west. But I thought we were playing eastward. Excuse me. Let's go talk to these folks. Oh, aren't they? Jeez, come on. There's a lot of social commentary in this game that doesn't always land. I think that there might have been some sort of maybe localization snafus but it can it's got its moments of funny so i appreciate that also a character is named four eyes and his mother does not get a name she's just four eyes mom talk to these children i like talking to npcs why not well excuse me kid Getting harassed by children. Super not cool. He's picking his nose. What do you mean? We have a job. We're just playing a little hooky. We'll be there in time. Once again, apologies for language. Shield dries. I think this game tries to have some more adult themes in it, so... You'll understand. But as you can tell, these characters are currently living and subsisting underground. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Well, yeah, we gotta get back to work. And that is us. The number one dig dugger in Pot Croc Isle. Apparently that's where we are. Get used to this. The sound of victory, 50 salt. Salt is the currency in this game. That's what you use to buy and do stuff with. I won't spoil it. You'll see. But we need to head west. We gotta get back to work. This game does a really nice job with pixel art. Really impressive, like the colors and the set design is really, really well, well done. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for telling me, everybody. I've been called a loser, been called late. I'd get there sooner if you stopped wasting my time. Jeez. Although we are kind of wasting our own time. That's okay. That is our official title. So as a member of this community, there's a little bit of fear behind going above ground for some reason. It is not something that is encouraged. We've made it to the digger dorms. There's another chest. More salt. 
Hopefully you're not salty watching this let's play. Got him! All right. Yeah, so I think you'll all enjoy this game. I was very enamored with it when I first played and I got pretty far into it before there was, unfortunately at the time, a pretty game-breaking glitch. But I think they've since fixed that, hopefully. If I finish this Let's Play, you'll know that they did. But here we are, we're at the dig site. Hopefully our boss isn't too mad at us. And some of these characters, I'm not entirely sure how they kind of coalesce together, but it's a choice. A lot of them are very goofy and kind of cartoonish. There's a lot of uh, emphasis on it. Kind of feels a little steampunky with these with these robots. Whatever he wanted to borrow, Chuck was not about it. Charles said no. There's also a lot of names that are weird. Chage. That's not a name. We're being teased. But yeah, I mean, you've already heard like four or five music tracks just in 10 minutes, and they're all really, really good. So these are some of John's co-workers. Thankfully, they are quite friendly towards us, although they like to tease. And there you go. This game is also a little anti-capitalism, too, which is right up my alley. Hopefully that's not the case. Seems like John's had the trials of life beat him down a little bit. I don't think Sam needs to deal with that, too. Uh-oh. Someone's swearing. Seems like we've got a problem on our hands, viewers. Is it snakes? SpaghettiOs? Shampoo? Slugs. Oh, pfft. Okay. Well, who better than to take care of that? God with capital G. Wait a gall darn minute. Yeah, some of the some of the narrative exposition choices in this game are very strange. Um, that's kind of the vibe I get sometimes is that it's a little bit try hardy. Sometimes it really lands and other times I'm just like, mm, I don't know about that. We'll make the best of it. Also, I'm controlling the speed at which the text scrolls most of the time, but sometimes it will auto scroll for emphasis and I can't control that. So I apologize if it's not on screen long enough. Feel free to pause and rewind and read it if you need that. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our map. We have learned nothing. Great. Let's go ahead and talk to these guys real quick and see what we need to do. So there are slugs down here which are impeding our progress. They give him the heebity jeeb jeep bitties. Okay. Sure. It seems like the slugs are munching on the power lines. Can't be a qualified digger if we don't have power. Let's go down into the end of the mine and see what we can do. Thank you, Chuck, for the update. Here's another good track. They're just hitting us with just musical gems. Oh, we got booty bumped. Thanks, fellas. If you could uh, move out of the way, would take care of that for you. Sounds like we'll be getting some explosives sometime soon. That sounds fun. Let's go ahead and talk to Yon here. Yon or whatever. How do you say that? Now, I don't know if 
this is a moment where you need to go anywhere else to get said bombs. It's been, it has been a long time since I've played this. I'll just forewarn all of you. My memory is very hazy. I probably haven't played this in at least a couple years. I played it right around the time that it came out. And I have not played it since. So, we're all kind of in this together. Alright. So here are the enemies that we're dealing with. These are the slugs. Um, every time you kill an enemy, you will wind up getting probably a little bit of salt or some sort of a collectible. Of course it's me, Ding Dong. What are you doing in there? Okay. John's a bit of a silent protagonist. And of course, the only one who can do anything about it is John. John's main form of attack here is the frying pan. Need to move some boxes out of the way. You gotta be careful in the early goings of this game. In and of itself, not a difficult game. However, it is a little unforgiving in the beginning because you only have three hearts, as you can see. It's very, you know, adventure mode, Zelda-esque. Slugs are not really a formidable enemy. Not that you'd need to worry about that, but in general, you still want to have a little bit of self-preservation when you play. But the salt is flowing. The prizes are plentiful. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Let's see. Well, the slugs are gone. We have done it. I'm afraid to touch that. Can I turn this power off? There we go. We're munching on the power lines here. We do not want to have to make an early goof here. But yeah, we're going to reroute the power. Open this door. All right, all right, easy. Well, how about you give us some bombs there then, fella? This is going to be another method of engagement with the enemy. The gunpowder closet. Okay. Well, where on earth is the gunpowder closet? Let's go ahead and turn the power off. I want to say that this circuit might be what we're going for. You don't want to get yourself electrocuted, that's for sure. Oh, that's the sound the game makes whenever you did something kind of smart. Rare for me, but here we go. The key! Viewers, we did it. We have accomplished the game. All right. Now, where did we see that key door? back here this is the bomb oh yeah we've done it so we have the weapons menu now that we have explosives we can take care of these nasty buggers okay he has nothing original to say I gotta remember how to drop bombs place a bomb thank you game you only have so many though, as you can see in the bottom left above John's character portrait, you start with 10. So you just gotta be mindful oh, of that. My voice almost cracked. Almost went back to middle school. All right, let's go ahead and place a bomb and you can, oops. You can't really do much with bombs. You can't pick them up, you can't throw them. However, you can uh, toss them by hitting them with your frying pan. Oops. Yeah, these guys are kind of nasty. So we're going to get in here real quick. Blow up the party a little bit. There you go. How's that? Yeah, you don't like that, do you? 
Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. I don't know how much more else we were expected to do here. Pass that door over there. Okay. Once again, language apologies. Um, this is kind of the last kind of full official warning that I'll give you. Um, I don't think it really gets worse than that, but the game is a little, uh, a little sassy. We'll say that. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but, you know, the game is what it is. I still feel like there's a little bit of lost in translation language that when they were localizing it, it felt like they kind of just went more for like the edgy, we're doing it because we can route. So, you know, just adds up. If that offends you, I apologize. Hopefully it's not too much of a deal breaker for you. The game in, in general is relatively... Um, it, it, it tries to be pretty edgy. We'll just go ahead and say it like that. Um, but I would say in general, it's not egregious. Not really a huge deal. All right. Getting swarmed by slugs now, you little stinkers. All right. You gotta watch out for the big ones. Um, the big ones do have a side effect of being able to electrify. So in doing so, oops, just like just like the nest apparently. You can change the temperature in your home, and you can also spit out slugs. Yeah, that's the game. Kind of uh, tries to surprise you a little bit, dropping slugs everywhere. I feel like that could be like a metaphor or like it could mean something else, but it, it's very much a literal statement at this point in the game. You have to be careful when you do your attack cycles. The yellow ones take three swings with our current setup here. We have the level one frying pan, which of course does a minimal amount of damage. And apparently the game is, oops. I'm just doing a great job of... Okay, well, let's not uh, let's not get ourselves killed here in the tutorial part of the game. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Well, looks like we done did a good job. Lights are kicking back on. Power is being restored. Mm -hmm. Well, who is this? Somebody's a bit of a foity cat. Don't worry, bud. We got you. How'd you get back here? You can say that again. All right. Thanks for the compliments. More guys need to compliment each other. This is Dr. Baguda. Self-proclaimed quack doctor. Probably not something you want to announce. Secreting a peculiar gel can relate. Some goo. So he's down here to get his hands on the goo. Mucilaginous. Is that a word? Mucilaginous? It's like something from a spelling bee. Weird. John is not about it, though. He's heard too much. That's us. This guy's going to be talking our ears off. Apparently we dug up a person. All right, so are we a bit of a grave digger, John? What's going on here? The animations of this game are wonderful. They're very subtle, but they are very, very good. Okay, we have been rewarded with a hot dog. As you do when you talk to another man deep in a cave, trying to get some goo, you give, he gives you his hot dog. This game is very much about... Uh, there's a cooking element to this game that we'll get into later, but there's a lot of... Um, a lot of variety in the dishes that you can make to heal yourself and give yourself other attributes. Give that th let's he wants us to try his hot dog. I don't know about that. Might have to pass. All right, so it looks like we've destroyed all of the nests. Let's see if there's anything over here. Looks like there's a bombable wall. This game kind of borrows a lot of elements from 
pretty much every other type of- Oh no, we ran out of bombs! We'll have to come- wait, 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 we'll have to come back. I don't know if there's anything up this way. Does not appear to be so. There are occasional, you know, hidden walls and secret passageways that you can take, of course. This game is no shortage of, you know, very tropey game mechanics. That was probably just another chest. We'll come back to that another time. What are you talking about? We took care of a man. Come on. Is there more? What's going on? Here's there maybe. Let's go ahead and talk to Yon. John to Yon. Okay. It appears that we are no longer in control of that. So if you wanted to rewire the plug, you are not doing that. Can we get more bombs, please? We are refilled to the top. Okay. And I think that now is a pretty good stop and spot. And we will resume next time with more of the adventures of Slug Killin. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Eastward, and I'll see you next time. Bye.